What's up YouTube? This is Lunar here with a brand new video for a brand new YouTube channel. Um, on this YouTube channel, let me just give you a brief uh, like idea or like grand scheme of things that I'm thinking for this channel. Uh, I'm thinking that I will be uploading either once or twice weekly some Adobe tutorials, tips, tricks, you know, whatnot, uh, like art speed runs. I don't know, I'd probably rather teach you about how to do it, but um, I'll probably I, I will primarily focus on Illustrator, maybe some Photoshop, and maybe even a little bit of After Effects and Premiere Pro. Um, so that's what I have planned for this channel as a whole. And yes, my channel is kind of bare. Uh, over the next couple of uh, weeks or so, maybe months, I will definitely have made myself a, a channel logo, channel trailer, probably. Um, you know, a banner, you know, whatnot, cool stuff like that to make it look nicer because I do like uh, looking and being professional. Okay, anyway, let's get started with this video. Um, this video, I will probably, I'll, or the, this video, I will do an overview of the uh, program Illustrator, which is what I'll primarily be working in, and hopefully uh, make it not so overwhelming for people who are just now opening this program and just now using it and you know are just doing it head first and hoping for the best kind of thing okay so when you first open it you're greeted with this screen well these are projects that you have worked on before if you haven't worked on anything before this will be empty or blank you can change it to a list view if you like but I'm a visual person so I like seeing the thumbnails um, and if you're just now starting or you need to do a new project there's a new button right here um, you can name your project you can make or size it right. You can change the size or the change the um, what is it? The uh, unit of measurement to like picas, points, inches, millimeters, centimeters, pixels, kind of thing. Um, and yeah, so I'll just hit OK. And so now here is my artboard. That's what this thing is called. And I will be going through briefly what these are, and you know some of what the tools are, and some of what the menu is. The main menu. You have a little sub menu right here, but that's uh, a little bit different. Okay, so um, let's just start with file. This is where you'll find, you know, saving documents, uh, changing the document color mode, um, you know, opening documents, whatever, new document, same thing. Edit. Uh, I do, I do copy paste a lot, but a lot of that I'll use the uh, key commands for. You'll notice that it's the same for anything else in PC or Mac. In Mac, it should be con Command C and Command V instead of Control and Control. Um, but yeah, and then under object is where you'll find some settings to kind of manipulate the objects and things that you're working on within the program uh, kind of thing. The type is where you'll find some options to edit type that you type out on the screen or I guess text that you type out on the screen. Uh, I use a lot the uh, type on a path because I do um, like to type on circles because it makes for cool radial logos. Uh, the selector, I use this sometimes, uh, the same option. Uh, this is an easy way to select a lot of the same color. Instead of like individually selecting each color, you can you know do the same fill and stroke kind of thing. Uh, a lot of these things I will also elaborate on in later videos, like the same uh, fill and stroke will probably definitely be a later video. And um, the effect, I do use the warp effect a lot, uh, mostly for text and type that I do. Um, the view is kind of like options for your artboard, like, uh, you know, there's a grid, you can show the grid. To me, it's kind of distracting and I don't like it, but, you know, to you, maybe it's like the coolest thing ever. Um, so I'm going to hide it back. Uh, there's also like a ruler option, rulers, show rulers. It shows the rulers up here, which is also pretty helpful. I don't know. I guess I'll just leave that on. Um, actually, no, I'll turn it off. Wrong window. Okay, so rulers. I'll turn off the rulers. Um, and some other stuff like guides, hide guides, lock guides, whatever. Uh, snap to point kind of thing. Um, okay, so the window, these, all of these options are little boxes like this. So, like, you'll see that if I click on the navigator, it'll pop up a new box, and it's a similar looking box to these, right? Um, so, yeah, that's what that does. And you can drag these boxes by clicking on the darker gray bar, and you can add them to these boxes. Mm, cool, cool. I'm going to take it off because I don't really want it. I'm going to take that off too, and you can just exit out of the boxes, and they kind of disappear. So that's pretty cool. Um, 
but yeah that's what all of these are the things with the checks means that I have those open so like you'll see layers layers color uh, color swatches swatches kind of thing you, you get the idea um, a document setup this is kind of interesting like maybe you need to change something within the document you know add a bleed um, change the unit of measurement uh, units um, change the type I don't know all kinds of cool stuff and so let's go through let's do a quick run through of the tools that you can use that you will primarily be using the magic wand tool is helpful but I find it more helpful and usable in Photoshop the selection tool and the direct selection tool are the like the bread and butter it's like you know the things you select things with you know you make a you make a, a rectangle well it's not selected well you gotta se select it with the selection pointer you know it makes sense um, you got the pen tool that's what you do you know create your own shapes with you can curve it all kinds of cool stuff um, you know whatnot and connect it to the end uh, these like the pen tool is definitely gonna be a separate video because the pen tool is like the coolest and most powerful part of Illustrator like you can do so many things with the pen tool uh, that's the text tool you know it's like you can text some stuff whatever you know it's just like typing and other things I'm bad at typing but you know you get the idea <laughs> uh, you have an eraser tool uh, you have a smooth tool I like using that I don't really know what the shaper tool does I think it's a new option in an Illustrator CC I don't use it too much but you know um, also, side note: all these little little arrows at the bottom that means that there's a drop-down submenu. So, if you click and hold, you get to other options, and you can select it from there. So, like now, it's the smooth tool kind of thing. Um, the width tool is interesting. I can show you another video on the width tool. It's uh, pretty fun to use for like swirly things. I don't know. Um, artboard tool you can resize your artboard uh, like so I'm gonna leave mine how it is though the zoom tool uh, you'll end up using a lot to like zoom in zoom out whatever kind of thing the hand the grab grabber tool you know move around the artboard for me if you if you have anything any other tool selected you can just hold spacebar and it pulls up the hand so that's what I usually use instead of like manually selecting the hand tool. Um, you'll end up using the rectangle tool a lot and probably the ellipse tool and like other tools in here. Um, and then you have your swatches. Well, I don't know if they call these swatches. Oh, well, fill color and then stroke color. And what I mean by that is if you make a rectangle, the fill color or the inside color is black and the the line through it means there's no actual color so you can select one um, let's do that one let's turn the point up a little bit so you guys can see it and so now you have a black square with a green outline you can switch it by hitting these two um, and I didn't have it selected so it didn't work you have to have it selected or so it doesn't work and you switch these two so now it's a green square with a black outline kinda neat um, okay so this um, makes it no fill color so if you don't want it to be black anymore you just want it to be blank you can hit this button and it goes away uh, kind of thing and that's pretty much it with these I mean it's really really brief like quick run through of these but I feel like in future tutorials that are more focused on a specific um, tool or you know tutorial I will talk about these individual tools a lot more um, I'm just, you know, those are the tools. They're over there on the left. <laughs> Have fun, you know. Um, let me talk about layers real quick, and then I think I will end this video. Okay, so right now on the screen I have a rectangle. Um, and disclaimer, I do use a lot of key commands, so be mindful of that. If you want to know what they are, you can always just hold your mouse over one of the tools, and it should tell you a key command. Uh, like for a rectangle, it's, if you just hit M, it'll pull up the rectangle tool. You'll see the box is now darker gray, which means it's selected. Uh, if you hit L, it'll pull up the circle kind of thing. So I'm going to make a circle. I'm going to change the color to blue so there's a little bit different. And now I'll make an oval. And let's make this one red. Okay, so you have the square, the circle, the oval. Um, okay, so the way layers works is that literally in the layers, if an object is above something, that, that means it will be above that same thing on the artboard. Um, so 
the square is above, or let's put the square on top. So if I move the ellipse or oval over on top of the square, you can see the outline means I'm still dragging it. And if you let go, it disappears. Well, not really. It's just behind the square. So if you move the square, you'll see that it's right there. And so you can just do this to layer things. Um, so let's say I wanted the circle on top of the oval, but beneath the square, I would just move it between the two. And then there you go. Easy. Well, to me. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's kind of how layers works. You know, whatever's on top over here will be on top on the artboard, you know. Um, but I think I want to end it right here for this video. Um, if you guys have any like tutorials that you want to see done or like specific things that you want to see done leave that in the comments and I can try to cover that in a later video um, but I mean other than that I mean the next video should come out I don't know when just soon uh, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next one peace